फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट मिस्टर वाइस चेयरमैन सर राइट फ्रॉम 1952 वी हैव बीन फॉलोइंग डेमोक्रेटिक सिस्टम इन इलेक्शंस एंड वी शुड फील प्राउड ऑफ इट बट एज द डेज आर पासिंग बाय द डेमोक्रेटिक सिस्टम इज बीइंग अफेक्टेड एंड आवर इलेक्शन सिस्टम हैज to be changed as it is creating disharmony at the social level of our country every one of you will agree with me and feel that the existing election laws need to be amended but the question is in what way these laws are to be amended on this different political parties have different opinions in this context i would like to like to suggest a few points as i do not have more time at my disposal sir i would like to refer to the expenditure incurred during elections there are incidents where a single candidate contesting from a parliamentary constituency spent more than rupees 1 crore the election wave is spreading and so is the expenditure as the prices are increasing election expenditure is also increasing simultaneously but as per the notification issued in 1984 the election commission had fixed a ceiling of rupees 1 lakh 50000 as election expenses for each parliamentary constituency and rupees 50000 for each assembly constituency and if this ceiling is crossed it becomes illegal and the elections are countermanded at present the election commission is following this system but i do not think it is a very practical since it cannot be effective according to former chief election commissioner shri ganeshan's estimation the minimum expenditure incurred in a single parliamentary constituency is 1 lakh so what i would suggest that this ceiling should be raised keeping in view the social conditions and its practical aspect i do not mind even if this ceiling is completely removed this ceiling is not serving its purpose the figures of expenditure are always shown below the ceiling whereas in actual practice it may be much higher in the very beginning itself people's representatives are forced to submit false figures their very first deed even before entering the parliament is does a dishonest one so i feel that the better course would be to remove the ceiling of election expenses if it is not possible it should be at least be raised sir my second suggestion is that it is better if government itself bears the election expenditure this suggestion has been accepted by 
many political parties at the same time this is also opposed by some people who say that it will not reduce the election expenditure and will be an additional burden on the government exchequer in europe in some countries like germany france and also in japan this state funding system has been successfully implemented but in my opinion instead of giving it in cash it can be paid in kind for example in the form of voters slips election propaganda material posters or public address system for election meetings this again should be made available only to the recognized political parties sir in our country there are many social cultural economic and geographical differences the present system is not representing the people's wishes directly either in parliament or in the state assembly sometimes the party securing 40% votes is getting 70% seats and sometimes the party securing 40% votes is not even getting 20% seats we are witnessing this in many parliamentary elections and assembly elections so the present system is defective therefore in my opinion the system of proportional representation would be a better alternative of course this system also has its own advantages and disadvantages we have to consider the advantages as well as the disadvantages of this system under this system one argument is that coalition government will come to power and there will be instability either in the center or in the states and the leadership of the political parties becomes arbitrary and dictatorial but what i want to say is that the party presently in power under the present system does not enjoy majority in parliament both in the 9th lok sabha elections and the 10th lok sabha elections majority party did not come to power we cannot come to the conclusion that coalition government will be a failure and will not be stable because in west bengal coalition government is continuing and is stable so i think that proportional representation system would be suitable for the country sir elections are being held throughout the year in one state or the other my suggestion is that elections should be held only once in 5 years either in the beginning of the year or in february or in march for lok sabha state assemblies etc should be held simultaneously which would reduce the expenditure of government candidates 
and parties and prevent rigging and booth capturing also often it so happens that rigging and booth capturing takes place in the later part of the day leading to clashes in order to avoid this identity cards should be issued now stop